Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a pen review of a pen from Pilot uh, and that pen is the Pilot Custom 823. Now this is a uh, another sort of iconic pen in the Pilot lineup. Uh, this is one of the pens that uh, people hold up as um, sort of a, a high-end working uh, everyday sort of working pen uh, through to sort of uh, even a grail pen for a lot of pen users. It's a very special pen. Um, it was introduced into the market in around 2000 uh, by Pilot in Japan and uh, it has a gold nib and a, it's a vacuum filler so it's you know it's sort of got some unique uh, elements to it, uh, things that we'll look at in more detail uh, on the other camera angle. Uh, this is a special pen for me. I have had this pen almost a year and I absolutely love it um, and looking forward to sharing it with you. So this is the Pilot Custom 823. So here we have the Pilot Custom 823. Now as I said this pen was introduced in around 2000 uh, by the Japanese brand uh, Pilot uh, and it is a vacuum filled fountain pen with a 14 karat gold uh, nib and it's also with uh, gold plating. This is a proprietary size number 15 pilot nib and I have it here in the broad uh, and it is a beautiful broad wet uh, writer. As you can see the pen is a screw cap uh, and it is made from sort of semi-transparent uh, plastic acrylic uh, resin and uh, it is just a really beautiful classic designed pen. So as you can see here the top finial is just a sort of a rounded dome as is the end which is the piston uh, or the turning knob to release the, the uh, piston rod uh, in there it is, as I said, a screw cap. It does post, uh, and it posts quite securely, but it does make a rather large pen, as you can see there. This pen is not a small pen. Uh, if we're talking the, the sizes, we've got, well, posted, the pen is 164 millimeters. Capped, it's 149, and uncapped, it's 131. Now, if we just put this in comparison to a Lamy Safari here, uh, which comes in at about 140 millimeters. you see that it is not a small pen at all. It's also got a good uh, girth to the pen where the section is about 10 and a half centimeters, uh, millimeters, sorry. The weight of this pen is 29 grams. So 19 of that is in the body and 10 of that is in the cap. It is a perfectly sized pen to write with um, uh, unposted. Uh, and it, as I said, it can be posted and posted quite securely. And it does put the pen nicely on the webbing of your hand there. It's certainly very comfortable uh, to use posted or unposted. Uh, the balance isn't too bad regardless. Unposted, the balance does feel a little bit more led towards the nib, which is how I prefer to write with this pen. So the ink capacity of this pen is about two and a half millimeters thanks to this vacuumatic filler. Now, for those who aren't familiar with this filling system, what you, I won't do it now because the pen is filled with ink, um, but you unturn this knob, which you actually also do um, to uh, let ink flow down into the feed, because once that, that knot piston is turned down, there's a little cap just in here that locks down uh, to stop the ink coming through. So if you're flying or if you're um, in, you know, going in higher altitudes, things like that, or anywhere that the air pressure changes, it's a good idea to seal this pen off by locking it. It makes it a great traveling pen because of that. But when you unscrew it, it pulls down the piston knob to the end here. And as you push it up, it pushes the air out of the pen. And just about here, it releases and you get a little like puff of air which re releases and once it, that's of course once this is in an ink bottle uh, and once the air is expelled and you release that vacuum it sucks ink up into the pen and at a full fill uh, you do get close to uh, two and a half milliliters into this pen which is quite fantastic so let's do a writing sample this pen is a special writer. The nib is really unique. It's, gonna be, it's really hard to describe uh, this, this nib and how it writes. Um, so I'll just do a quick writing sample with it here for you. We've got the Pilot Custom 823. So this is a 14 karat gold 
nib in abroad in this sense, in this case. Uh, the ink here we have here is Akaman, uh, and it's the Simplicities. I think I spelled that wrong. Uh, Violet, which is a beautiful, rich, sort of lovely purple violet ink. Uh, not terribly dissimilar in some ways to Lamy Dark Lilac. Uh, but no ink compares to that. So the interesting thing about this particular nib, firstly, it's very smooth. It's, you can barely feel or hear that on the page, and that's coming from a left-handed writer. Uh, so you know that if you're a right-handed writer, which I will do a sample of in just a second, you're gonna get a wonderful writing experience from this pen, just drawing it smoothly across the page. Quick writing. There's no skips, it keeps up. And this is with the, the uh, piston there sort of locked down. So we're not getting the wettest flow through the pen. Uh, so it's quite remarkable. Uh, reverse writing. It's not the best for that. It's quite scratchy uh, and it's an incredibly fine line. Uh, but the right way, as I said, beautiful, beautiful writer. This is a slightly soft nib. I'm not going to push it because I don't want to sort of spring uh, this lovely nib, but you can see there, I don't know how visible that is, but there's that slight bounce on the nib, which is just beautiful. And if you're writing, you can just get like a little bit, you know, that's right. Um, what's it? Hello. You can get a little bit of shape just in the writing there, if you desire. Let's do a quick uh, right-handed writing sample, just for the sake of the exercise here. So, while my right-handed handwriting is pretty average, you can definitely see this is a pen that writes just beautifully and it it's not super wet pilot pens aren't going to be gushes but this pen does put down a lovely amount uh, of ink on the page and of course that will be slightly wetter if the feed is completely saturated um, I'll just give it a second and see if we can get some a little bit more sort of uh, ink down um, already you can see there like that's you know, a second of turning the knob, the ink that's sort of coming down into the into the feed, it's letting down a lovely wet, rich line. So let's talk about the pros and the cons uh, of this pen. Um, oh, firstly, I should say, like the the clip here uh, has this little ball in it. It's springy, it's functional, it's a bit tight. Lovely cap band there that says. Um, Pilot made in Japan on one side, some stars, and then custom 823. Uh, it's a lovely, it's, it, I think this pen design is absolutely beautiful. So now let's talk pros uh, and cons. So pros, the size, this is a lovely size pen. It fits beautifully in the hand, it's well balanced. It's a writer's pen. Another pro is this nib. Now, it's a beautiful nib to look at from a visual point of view, that's absolutely stunning. But also, let's looking at this page of writing, it lays down a lovely even wet line. It's, it's a gorgeous nib to write with. It's wet, it's beautiful. And another big pro is the filling system. This is, um, the vacuum filler allows for a massive ink capacity. It's got an interesting filling system and being able to lock that down does mean that you have the option of flying with this pen inked or you know using it in some circumstances where you might get some sort of air pressure changes or similar. So locking it down, not allowing the ink to go through, it's a big pro for this pen. Now, cons, I could only come up with two because I really, really love this pen. The first is that it's not a unique looking pen. It's not a fancy design, but for me, that's not an issue. For some people, that might be a problem. It's not bright colors. The, there are three finishes. There's the clear, the amber, and the black, from of what I'm aware. 
the black is a classic design with the gold. It's but it's not a unique looking pen. It's not that dissimilar to a lot of sailor pens, Montblanc pens, things like that. So you're not getting a fancy uh, pen design. In a way, they can also be a, a, a pro because it's not the sort of pen that someone's gonna catch their eye and they're gonna necessarily want to take if they are given the opportunity. Now, the other uh, con to this pen, and it's not really a con, it's just something to be aware of, is the price. So in the US, this pen retails for uh, about 360 uh, MSRP is about 360 American dollars or 288 at the retail price uh, from one major sort of retailer. In Australia, the pen costs close to $495. Now, when you buy it from Japan, you buy it on eBay or one of those similar sites, you are going to get this pen at a ridiculously low price. I didn't pay anywhere near either of those for this. So if you're comfortable buying this, on that market absolutely go for it but in saying that support your you know always think about supporting your local companies and local retailers but the markup is huge getting these pens outside of japan with like from retailers you are paying a huge premium just something to be aware of well, that was the Pilot Custom 823, uh, a unique and interesting and some very special pen and a wonderful pen from Pilot. Uh, I hope you can see from the writing sample and my enthusiasm about this pen that this is not just an everyday uh, fountain pen. This is something that is a little bit sort of special and writes like a pen that on any other brand would be priced three times as high. Uh, and so it's a really unique, very special pen. If you found this video useful if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that i produce please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below i'm on instagram and twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me so please feel free to get in touch uh, over there if you've got things i should be looking at uh, please let me know and if there's a way you'd like to support this channel get in touch and let's see what we can do in the meantime enjoy your pens enjoy writing and i'll talk to you later